Hi, True Readers. This is Michael for Spirit Comics coming at you with another review. I told you that this one was coming soon. This is Bombshells United Issue 2. Now, I like the cover. It's kind of dark. And it, it's, it's Dawnstar with, uh, looking down at Wonder Woman. I, I don't think they're flirting or anything. It's just that's drawn really nice. And her lasso of truth is sort of wrapped around her. The the ta the the coloring is dark it, it is dark which does reflect the story. Now on the first issue you know th this was at this is following the previous series, Bombshells that that recently wrapped up. They were fighting the Americans now in Bomb Chelsea United number one for because of the Japanese internment camps. One woman does not does not believe it was just and so she was fighting to free those who were wrongfully imprisoned. Now this is in the takes place right here, the Pacific Northwest, nineteen forty three. She's fighting Clayface which is traditionally one of Batman's rogues and Clayface right here is saying you were meant to be ours Wonder Woman our American hero instead you threw away you threw that all away to what? bust a bunch of Japanese from the camp from the campus free prisoners out in tournament she looks around and says, It is Americans I free from an unjust imprisonment. I am a, I am the stranger to your land. They are your own people. And they are not the ones who need a reminding of that. She says, You are! And Clayface is going at it really wild. She says, "If you're, if you're so-called easier to, if if you are so eager to call this your land, then I will, then I I'm happy to return you to it." And she throws him out over this uh, watchtower here, like that's really going to do him any damage. To American soil, she says. She jumps down and goes, "Wham!" Wham! She says, "This world was never yours al alone, creature of dust." He says, "Not dust." And Wonder Woman, he says, "Clay, Clayface, American Soil, Part Three." Wonder Woman! Donna! Cassie! Run! Hey, what did your little tracker say? A terrible power used us against each other. You don't need a stone if you can kill a bird with another bird. <laughs> and so... Clayface is all up in arms. I mean, apparently he's a, a defend, he, he's on the side of the Americans, which is really st strange. And he is ah, <laughs> you're not the only one who found magic waiting in the world, Wonder Woman. The hot springs of the West have legends far older than your own. One thing you'll learn from them, Princess. What goes up must come down. And so he knocks down a support beam of or something and and she you know, like reaches up to catch it with all her might. And he goes on saying, Your jailbirds won't be free for long, Wonder Woman. Ah ha 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 
So you gotta love the I, I you, you gotta love the dialogue. This I like the dot this dialogue so far. It's uh, you know it, it it's some may call that campy or cheesy, but I don't care. It's fun. It's fun dialogue to me. You know, why does everything have to be so serious all the time? So and we pick up with our hair heroine saying Donna Troy and Cassie of Los Angeles are you alright? Cassie? and then Cassie says something in whispers so it's even hard for me to read with, with my glasses on yeah I'm getting I'm I'm going on 44 but my glasses probably could use a, a nice cleaning she, anyway Cassie says what was that thing? And uh, Wonder Woman says here, that creature, Clayface, it is the commander from the desert and a shapeshifter. He's heading for the camp. We have to find him, have to stop him, or he will destroy us. And that's her bird. That's Wonder Woman's bird. She she has her own bird in this, which I think is kind of interesting. And so back at the makeshift refugee camp, she uh, he'll destroy us from within. Wonder Woman says. And so uh, one of the two uh, ja uh, Japanese girl Japanese girls, uh, Yuri or Yuki, I can't keep them straight, says to Dawn Star, Dawn Star. This is the last beam anglet from the top because they're trying to secure the refugee camp. And the other one says, Edmond Lewis, darn this mud. Yuki, Yuri! Emily Sun? Thanks for the help. Hey, don't mention it. Last thing I want to do is get left out of another grand theft heist. I mean, Grant, 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 nice. Uh, both of them sound good. And uh, there's Donna Troy. She uh, speaking. She says, "Here we are, just as confined as we would have been in the desert." But it makes all the difference in the world, doesn't it? And puts up. Now th this is I, I I did not notice this till a little bit ago when I was rereading this. Who puts up the fence and why I am sorry but I cannot help except think that is a slam against President Trump that's why I said you know sometimes now DC has excellent books but sometimes I find stuff in some of them that I really don't like and that little remark just you know it, it, it screamed out at me when I was reading this earlier Re well rereading it I should say because this would be the fourth time I've fourth fourth or fifth time I've read it and um then they continue down, down here. One of, one of the two girls says, uh, Speaking of, I know Cassie brought her Bing Crosby albums. If we want to listen to Don't Fence Me In for the 10,000th. And uh, the other one says, Speaking of, do you know where Donna and Cassie went? And then Dawnstar says, off to find Wonder Woman who is keeping guard from a watchtower to the east. I warned them to be careful. There is an old silver mine not far from here and it would do us no good to be more deeply entrenched than we are now. The trenches will be definitely defensible if needed should the American tanks have followed us Donstar says 
Now, I like Dawnstar. She is drawn really excellent. She is. This is Dawnstar. She's drawn really ex excellent. It's just some stuff she says kind of gets on my nerves. But, you know, when it comes to comic books, I try to take the good with the bad, you know, as the saying goes. And in here, she said, uh, uh, one of the two uh, Japanese, Japanese girls, I think that's Yuri, right there, maybe Yuki, I don't know. I, I get them mixed up. She says, and in that contingency, you'll be able to conjure more sparkle birds, right? And, and Dawnstar says, apparitions of stardust, yes. Where do those even come from? She says. It would be more dramatic if I were able to point to the heavens right about now. But I suppose a pouring rainstorm will have to do. Wait, space? She says. And Dawnstar continues. She she says, there are many other worlds, Yuki. There are many worlds spinning through the cosmos, rich with life. I am from all of them. All? She says, unable to believe this. And Dawnstar continues saying, I exist in many planes at once. I exist in an alien world where my people rule rule along nebulous soaring skies cresting galaxies building ships that carry us sweeping around the curves of the moons very sort of poetic right there I, like. I exist in a world where I lived and died in the desert for lack of water and a poison well. You hold them all in your head at once and see many lifetimes, all of which I have lived or am living or will live. That sounds unbearably complicated, she says. Charts do help, Dawnstar Don remarks. <laughs> She's basically talking about a multiverse. And if you don't know what a multiverse is, then don't worry about it. Now, this is a nice splash page of Dawnstar. But the dialogue here that Dawnstar gives eh, kind of bothers me. And she says, And the sparkle birds? Stardust. Taking righteous form to help me in my journey. Now here's what Stardust says. I mean, uh, 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 Dawn Star, excuse me. Though I can see the other lives I have lived, this is the only one I can possess. Influence the one in 1943 Earth. I choose to help here. You are citizens here. But what are citizens? Here we go. What is the United States but a history made and remade? Oh boy. The conquerors came and took the land from my people and sent us to a prison of desert and dry grass. This is part of your history as Americans. Oh boy. One may benefit from an injustice even if one did not commit it. And inheriting strength built on suffering gives each gives us each a duty to change the foundations. Well, for one, 
you cannot change the foundation of uh, of of something. Let's take a house for example. Once you have built it, you can't change the foundation. Even if you used slave labor to construct the house, you cannot change the foundation later on, say 20, 30 years down the road, when uh, your grandson or you know whoever finds out that slaves were used to build the house. You can't change the foundation. Just like you cannot change the foundation of a government. Whatever that foundation is, cannot change. That's just you know. That makes sense. That's uh, that makes sense to me. Anyway, Don Star continues and says, "I will say only this: Do not seek to emulate power from." born from cruelty well you know even if there was power born from cruelty the same individuals who were cruel so to speak might have actually done some stuff that was admirable I'm speak I'm spe speaking I'm thinking of George Washington I know our first president what wasn't an angel but he founded he he was he he's the, was our first president and he did some some stuff during his lifetime which was admirable in my opinion do not seek to be like those who use that power against you you can be so much better you can be so much more she says well, that much you know, I agree with. You don't have to be like your ancestors or the founders of the world or the founders of this nation. You don't have to be like them. Be your own person. Whatever that is. Are you going to be cruel? Are you going to be kind? Whatever you are decide and be that person but don't be like someone else just because they're great or grand or whatever and Don Star says it has always been ugly it has never been fair well guess what life isn't fair she says to ask the wronged to forgive the wrongdoers well I know this much that it is fair to the wronged to forgive wrongdoers because if a person does not forgive at least this is what I believe if a person does not forgive another then that bitterness that that, that that will that will will morph into hatred, and that will eat at, eat away at the at the person who was wrong. So the wrong wronged person must forgive the wrongdoer. Sorry, Don Don Star, but you just don't understand. She says to ask them a mercy that they were never granted. To demand of them a loyalty that they were never shown. It is monstrous. Monstrous to show compassion to those who didn't have compassion upon you. Well, perhaps a person doesn't show compassion because they were never shown compassion. The spinning of worlds has always hung, hung more on the forgiveness of the wronged than the contrition of the wrongdoers. For from those with the most to suffer and 
to lose is the most demanded. Well, yay! Don't start, you got a point. You know, those who are wronged, they do have the most responsibility. It's not right, but that's how life is. Life is not fair. But do not forget that when any of us trace our histories far back enough, dig deep enough, we hit rock. We hit nerves. We hit bones. Well, for me, digging my roots, digging at my roots is not something that I want to do. I prefer to live in the here and now, not the past, not the future. Comic books are the present, the, the, the here and now. Even though this comic book is takes place in 1943, it's the here and now. We find legacies of blood and pain, of blood and pain, and golden idols with ugly, ugly feet of clay. Well, no matter what you believe, that belief came from somewhere. Someone began that belief. And that, whatever you believe, may not be rooted in the greatest of circumstances. That's just life. All right, outside the gates of the makeshift refugee camp, the Pacific Northwest, 1943. I think that's Yuki. Woof, it's really coming down, she says. She's got her umbrella out. And then, uh, there's, so there's someone out there, the other one says. Now, Yuki, no, 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 the, the one in the green is, is Yuri. The one in pink is Yuki. I'll eventually get the hang of it. Don't go so out too far, I can't. Yuki, I can't see you. Yuki! American Soil Part 3. See, the, the editor told me on Twitter recently, because I asked her about it, I said, I thought, because I said, I think there's an, an there's an error there's an error because there was no part two listed in bombshells issue one but the in when this comic book opens up it has American soil part three so I was confused and the editor uh, let me see here I think Christy Quinn told me that Bombshells United it's put out I think uh, each week so the print version collects the two chapters that are printed each week and puts them into one book except with the first one they forgot to put American Soil Part 2 somewhere in the book so I and other re readers would know that the story ended at some point and continued at another point. But anyway, American Soil Part 4 here on the page. It's okay, she says. H hang on there, Yuri. We're coming back. We? Holy, holy wally Cody, put that down. Don't you know your own sister? Look who I found. You gotta love that. Holy wally Coyote. Emily, Emily son, so they, they, they that they, they find that that they're in a torrential downpour here, and 
they're finding the, finding each other again and they're saying that they you know they need to go back they need to get back to the camp and this is Wonder Woman Donna Troy and Cassie Sandsmark they're running through the trenches they're trying to get back to the the camp as well and you got and I, I do like the 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 rain here and it's very, very very believable to me to me so they're tr they're trying to get uh, back to the to the camp and then Don Troy and Cassie Sand Smart smack in each other wham uh, and Cassie Sand Smart remarks <laughs> Uh, this is worse than manure day on the flower farm. <laughs> that was that was funny. I I, I like that. And then uh, so they meet up with Wonder Woman again. So they, eventually, all of them get have gotten s separated at some point, and so that. And so one woman says, uh, uh, Donna, Donna says, uh, sorry about that one woman. There is no need, Donna Troy. Ten months of rain and mud and trenches I spent in France. I didn't know my own name after a while. Well, heh, you're a Wonder Woman to me. We need you to be Wonder Woman. You can... B. I hate clay and rain. It is for the birds, lady. Every other day this week, I'll write you a permission slip. But right now, and then they see Dawn Star signaling them that it's okay to come back, and so then they start to get back inside the fort, and I think that's a. One of the, one of the, I think Yuri, says, "What the unholy heck are you are you saying? The danger is in our midst. That that kind of pr prison is exactly what we fought to escape in internment camps. A shapeshifter, whose name names himself Clayface. Please, Wonder Woman." Him. Don't let us become what we fought, what we fight, prisoners. No one has entered the camp, and we're the only ones who have left. So they're they're trying to fight so they would not be confined to internment camps. But now they are finding out that they have to stay in this camp for their own safety and then uh, Cassie Sandsmark says here and since you're the only ones who have left we might not be able to trust what you're saying and I love this right here this is original yeah, I've got to remember this and what the hell does that mean Cassie this shapeshifter could be posing as any, any one of us. And so then they go back and forth, you know, accusing the other of being Clayface. And then they remember that they lost track of Wonder Woman as well. So, then Donna Troy says that they need Wonder Woman and her lasso of truth because that each girl holds the lasso of truth and and says who she is my name is K Cassandra Sandsmark my name is Yuki Katsua my name is Yuri Katsua my name is Donna Troy and my name is Emily Sung And then 
last person and my name is wonder what my name is and they're starting to look alarmed my name and so they start at one one with uh, what looks like uh, shovels and uh, an umbrella my my no my name is Diana Princess of Themyscira and uh, then so they're saying they don't understand what's going on because not any one of them is Clayface so where is Clayface and Don Troy says where is he hiding and then Wonder Woman and Don Troy look down at the ground and they both go Wonder Woman says no and Don Troy says oh no and then we see this tell me Wonder Woman what was that you said about American soil <laughs> to be continued he snuck in because he's part of the soil you know, he's clay part of the ground so uh, I, I, th I thought the overall art of, bom of Bombshells United number two was really good but the uh, character Dawnstar seemed to use to blame the other the, the other girls to, to Kat, Cassie, Yuki, and Yuri just for being who they are and laying guilt trip after guilt trip after guilt trip on them and I really didn't find that you know very very good at all. I mean, I, I realize this is all about the Japanese internment camps. But I wish there was more fighting than there was, you know, the, using the blame game for for the, for these young characters. Because these characters are about 17 or 18. Well, ex except Don Troy. I think she's about you know, 20 or 22 or something like that here. And who knows how old uh, Dawn Star is because she's like, like eternal, it seems. But anyway, this was Bombshells United number two from DC Comics. I thought it was pretty good. And, you know, I am not going to give up on this series. I'm going to continue buying this series, even though right now it doesn't seem that good in, t in terms of dialogue. I mean, about two or three pages was used just to make some of the characters feel bad. And I I don't I don't dig that. Really, I, I don't. But, you know, it could have been better. I think. But overall, you know, it was a good comic book. I'm Michael for Spirit Comics. Thank you, true readers, for joining me for this review. Please subscribe to my channel, Spirit Comics. Smash that bell so you'll be notified of new uploads. Also, drop me a like if you enjoyed this video and share it with others because that that would help me and hey, you can bring some enjoyment into the lives of others through, through this little video. Till next time, true readers, keep your chin up and read, 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 because it's very important.